guys, welcome back. Right now we are doing a food review on Snick on Snickers hazelnut bars. I'm Gideon. I'm Julius, his dad. And right now we're gonna do um we're gonna do this thing on hazelnut Snickers. They're from what I've heard of, they're pretty good. Alright, let's just open it up. Let's get right into it. You wanna, you wanna jump right into it? I mean, it's like you know, we, well, we could talk about a little bit of that. You know, what I'm saying like the hazelnut peanuts caramel yeah. nugget. You know, the the mm. milk is milk chocolate. You know what that I mean? That sounds really good. It does. It sounds great. You know, I'm you know I'm a Snickers fan. I always grew up with Snickers. It got me by when I when I was feeling grouchy and you know and I was you know I, I was I was you know going crazy sometimes and, and yeah, I see the, you know and and that looks that looks nice. It looks like this. Uh, you can definitely see the caramel in it. Let me see. Let me see. Take a bite. Ooh, look at that! Look at that right there. Ooh. Nice look. look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. I I kind of I'm looking at it. That's pretty. The way they, I feel like they should have distributed the hazelnut from the bottom and, the, like, the top and the bottom. See how it's only on oh, the top? Oh, you like the hazelnuts on, on the bottom, more than that's the cookie and then more than... No, no, what I'm saying is they want to, I want them to, like, kind of mix it up with put the hazelnut on the bottom and the top. Oh, okay, okay. So it's kind of mixed up more. Okay. Well, go ahead. Um, you, you bite into yours. Bite mine. Definitely chewy. Mm -hmm. Have not gotten to a hazelnut yet. Chocolate just... It's not that good. I don't like the chocolate. I'm gonna try to get into a hazelnut. We'll see what happens. You gotta take a bite out of it. Take a big bite? You gotta take a bite out of it. Ah. Oh guys, yeah, it was we had a little 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 technical difficulty there for a minute. Um but anyway, the end of that conversation was about that snick was about Snickers and what we thought about it and I guess I liked it. I gave it, you know, I gave it a, a, a somewhat of a good, I guess, a good score. I, I, I would say out of ten, actually, to be to rephrase this, let me let me do what I said. I would give it. I give it a six. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a one. You one? <laughs> you <laughs> give it a one? How do you give it a one? I didn't even. I didn't even like. I bit the chocolate, and I didn't even bite the hazelnut. But <laughs> it was still disgusting. Oh wow! 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 Okay. All right. Well, on a lighter note, <laughs> stay with that one. So, as I guess, Snick, I guess the hazelnut is more for the more for the uh, the adults, and I guess we'll see if the kids. I like to hear if other people like the hazelnut. Um, I like the hazelnut, but like I don't, but. A six out of ten, so I'm like I'm still torn. It's still, it's getting used to that flavor. Um, Gideon is definitely not feeling it, and no. <laughs> it's gonna be a. It's like so he's a one out of ten. Um, that's like you can't go any low. Well, you can go zero, but I mean, but that's pretty low. So, but what we're gonna jump into now is, you know. Something that's nutritious, something that's great, but also some things that are that you know, as far as like extra protein. Nesquik came out with their Protein Plus, and you know, it's like for guys like me who work out, you know, I like to have something that's that's pretty tasty. And I mean, it's it's still to me is kind of a kids' drink because it's Nesquik. It's about taking it serious and and putting it into a athletic field, you know, athletic realm, and then. And then we're gonna try. You know, we're gonna taste the chocolate milk of uh, of organic, good to go. You know, eleven grams of eleven grams of protein, and and thirteen grams of protein. And the difference between this is that you're supposed to only drink half a half a bottle. Um, that's the thoughtful portion of this, of this one right here. And this is the full bottle, to, for one container, which is gonna give you the, thirteen. The, I mean, the eleven grams of protein. So. Let me but see. Let's let's see. I'm wondering why would the, if you want to drink if you're only supposed to drink half the bottle, then why is the other half the bottle there? <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's it's I guess the selling mark is not to sell it in smaller sizes. You still want to do you still want to sell a 14 ounce flavor. I mean, you know, if I go to the store and I see it at seven ounces, I'm not going to buy it, and it only yeah, makes it sense. Make, it makes sense if it would have like come in a two pack. Of two of them, that would make sense. That would make sense, and you just jug, you jug one before you know, uh, one one after workout. Yeah. That you know that that time frame after workout was it? I think it was like was it 
five minutes after you work out, supposed to have protein. Don't quote me on this because I, you know, I just, I just work out. I don't, I'm not a big with so much of the nutrition, you know, nutrition. I mean, I'm, I'm big with like, you know, I, I know what not to eat and what not to be drinking. And this, you know, next couple of segments, you're going to see me drinking, eating things I totally usually don't do. But, um, I mean, it's a, it's, you know, as far as a product that it, that's big about protein, I'm willing to, you know, enhance milk beverage. I'm really te- willing to test it out. Um, Let's see. Let's see its flow. Let's see what its flow is. Let's see what its flow is. All right. Take the top off here. Okay. Should we? Yeah, I'll shake it. I always shake my chocolate milk. Personally, I always shake my chocolate milk. Okay. Put it into our nice glasses. Looks like that's a. Nice, nice color there. Nice color. Nice color there. Okay. And let's see here. Let's take this and throw this in the trash right here. Put this right here. There we go. 23 grams of protein. 13 grams. I said 13 grams. 13 grams of protein for half and 23 grams for, the, for per bottle. Let's see here. I know it doesn't that doesn't add up. I'm not gonna question that one. I like the top. It gives me safety, makes me feel comfortable. That makes me feel comfortable right there. That's you know, knowing it's organic, just knowing that it's a good product. Um, I really, I just, I, I like when I see that when there, when there's extra safety going on, not just the bottle wrap, but also the you know something on top. Some people may disagree. Let's see here. Nice flow. Definitely more milky. Yeah, this one's like definitely like this. this you is, can see like those are like this is really creamy. Yeah, yeah, one's creamier than the other. All right. Definitely. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So, looking at both these side by side, we can tell one's a lighter, a much lighter um, color, which is here, and this is a much more chocolatey looking flavorful beast of a drink let's see here okay you ready go ahead i'm gonna let you taste taste to take a sip of this first <laughs> yeah it tastes like chocolate milk it tastes like chocolate milk because that is exactly <laughs> what it is it's chocolate milk i don't like I don't, I don't it's not like that strong of a taste for the protein you can like kind of taste it a little bit. And this is more for me, I think, than for you. It's more something that's geared for the adults. That, but I mean, it's, it's still, you know, it's real milk. I mean, it's something that you know to get you through the day. Mm-mm. This is um, that's like a lot. That's a lot of protein. That's a lot of protein. <laughs> and you can, uh, you can kind of, you, you, you can like feel the powder. You can feel the powder. What well, is a powder? Wow, I don't see. Let's see. Let's see. I smell the chocolate. It smells chocolate. It's a, it's a thicker drink. It doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, though. It's 20% less sugar. Less sugar. 20% less sugar than what? Because we usually don't talk about these things, but there's 22 grams of sugar per serving. Then the leading protein enhanced flavor milk. It's definitely a milk that's, that's different. That's definitely for an adult. This is the adult nest quick. Is what it is. That's what that's what I'm coming down to. This is the adult nest quick. It's not a. Uh, it's not such as this. This is something you're gonna drink right here. Let me see. Good old fashioned chocolate milk. Almost has like a. Um, I'm trying to think of the flavor. There's a flavor that was in my mind, but anyway, it's good stuff. This I could drink. I can drink this and feel okay, cool. But my only problem with it is that, and no, whoa, wait a minute, only two point five grams of fat. For you know, as and the same four grams of fat. We usually don't talk about these things. Um, you'll find out as we're, as we're going through. But I guess we're going to have to start talking about these things because people want to be more concerned about what their diet is and what their you know their eating habits are going to be. Um, so. 
this has more fat. That's sticky. Yeah, yeah, but but it's, so this is this is heavier protein. This is something like I said. It's for you know you want to have lower fat, higher protein, and in the carb. The carb level is kind of high, so you're getting a lot of carbs. That you're getting a lot of carbs out of this. So if you're cutting carbs, this is not for you. You know, this is thirty carbs. This is and 30 grams. neither of these is going to be you know good for you if you're trying to cut carbs, especially this one right here. This is actually, you know, you're drinking a whole, you're drinking up to forty something grams of uh, of carbs here. I'm at well, actually, yeah, yeah, about forty something grams of carbs here. If is, you're if you're um, and then for this one, it is. 30 carbs, but... And then you have the sugars break down the carbs, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, I like it for taste-wise. I definitely like this taste-wise. Like, really, really good for tasting. That, that, that just, like, it's like, you can kind of taste the protein too much. This would get me through after my workout. But I don't want the carbs. And if I don't want the carbs, this is not the joint to be drink for me. So... As far as taste, you know, it, it's, for me, I give it an 8. But because it has so much carbs, it drops it down one point to that 7 out of 10, you know. Well, for that, I'd give it, like, yeah, I'd, I'd give it a 7 and just, a, just like, three, just a 3 points because it doesn't really, it just tastes too heavy, kind of. Right. And then I'm getting, and I don't know if it's making me tired or just late at night or something, but I'm just like, I got like <laughs> kind of tired. I don't know. That's kind and of weird. And then for this, I give it a nine. It's, mm. it's definitely, it's def it definitely has like a lot more um, kind of fat and stuff, but. I give it, you know, I'm, I'm, I give this an eight. You know, he's, he's, he's being generous with a nine, which is great because I'm thinking if you're going to have a nine, you might as well give it a ten. So, you know, you know, it's like, you know, so I'm like, I give this a, I, I give this a, uh, I give this a, a eight, you know, um, seven and eight. So I like this. I'm a chocolate milk drinker. So I like my chocolate milk. I like my, my post-workout drink and my pre-workout proteins. Um, this is get you through your morning and your breakfast to get you started. Half of this, I think, will just get you through. Like you're gonna, if you're gonna skip breakfast, this is what I'm gonna drink to skip my breakfast, and and then, you know, um, and then after my workout, if I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna take this with my eggs and my my, my eggs and uh and, and and cream of wheat and or o eggs and oatmeal and some bacon. And you with some bacon, you know, <laughs> you have your bacon and and this is where we're definitely going to. To have this, or just like at lunchtime, or yeah. you know, this is definitely for the kids because it's you know it's organic, good to go. Nice, you know, I like their always like their brand, and um, it's non-GMO, so that was a big that's a big deal with this product. And um, I mean, and then you have you know the name of Nest Nest Nestle Nesquik, been around forever. You know, we grew up with this, we grew up with the bunny, we 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 know it, we know we know what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's definitely has less sugar. It's a good good amount of protein. Um, it's 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 a good product. I mean, it's not something that uh, I just personally not going to spend you know drinking it. You know, or maybe I maybe these guys could change my mind. Maybe they'll come out with with um with something with, with less carbs and and that uh, you know that change things up. But I mean, but that's that's the end of this segment, guys. I'm sorry what happened in between there. We had like I said, we had a little little thing happen, but uh. So, till next time, Jules, Gideon, check you out later. Bye.